Hey guys, welcome to my first look at Rogue Legacy. This is an upcoming roguelike from Cellar Door Games that I'm incredibly excited about. Oh my god, this game is so much fun. So, we're starting out here and we are this little knight dude. And uh, just like any other roguelike really, we're gonna go into this, you know, castle and just start beating shit up. You know, I'm controlling this with the Xbox 360 controller and it's basically just you know, move around, X to attack things. We have a spell that we can use with B that shoots little throwing knives. And that that is randomized. There are a bunch of different spells <clears throat> in the game. And, um, you know, for the first little bit, this is going to look pretty standard. Uh, but as we, or after we finish this run, I guess, we'll see something that makes this really unique among roguelikes that uh, makes this game incredibly addictive. I've actually... Uh, beaten this game and then you know done a little bit more grinding because I just got super into it at a time when there was a lot of noise in my house so I couldn't really record. Oh fuck. Alright, we just taken a lot of damage. That's not very good. Um, but anyway, oh we got super lucky. We, put, we found this, uh, this treasure room essentially. Oh, we got a new blueprint for our blacksmith. Uh, but yeah, so basically right now I'm just collecting gold. Oh, what was I about to say? I was about to say something. Let's get out of there. Enemies do not regain their health when you enter and leave a room, so that's a good way to kind of cheese the system a little bit sometimes. Uh, this is actually a really good way to kill myself. I'm not going to go that way. Now that I look a little bit more carefully at it, uh, very easy to actually get killed by one of those things. So we're just trying to, you know, get as much money as we can. That was really poor as well. But, uh, we sh Oh, shit. Oh, god damn it. Alright. That was a really, really bad first run. But, anyway. So now that we've died, we get to select an heir. And there are, uh, as you can see, a number of different dudes that all have randomized attributes. So this first guy, or this first woman, I should say, is a knight. And she has gigantism, which means that she is super big. She has a bigger hitbox, but she can also... Um, you know, I think she hits a little bit harder and just moves a little bit faster, maybe? I don't know. I think she does move a little bit faster. She's also nearsighted, which makes everything far away blurry. And she has another dagger. Um, on the other hand, this is a knave, which has uh, lower stats than a knight, but can land crits. And has no special traits and an axe. And then we have Lady Charlotte, who is another... Nave with hypergondolism, oh, hypergonadism, sorry, uh, which means that every attack knocks enemies further away from you. And she's also nearsighted. Um, so let's go ahead and play a knave with some traits so we can see it. And uh, then after that, we get this upgrade tree. So the first thing we're going to do, the only thing we can do, is unlock the smith with 50 of our gold coins that we got the last time. And then we can choose to either upgrade our mana or our health. Uh, we're going to go for health. I actually have a lot of money. Wow. Uh, we'll also upgrade our knights to become... Uh, wait. Upgrade the squire to become a knight. I thought... Ah, uh, never mind. Anyway, we're going to upgrade the knight. Yeah, see, that, that's what I thought. The text here is off. They must have changed their minds uh, in the... You know, between writing one text and writing the other. But anyway, we're upgrading our knights into paladins. Uh, paladins can block. <clears throat> Every class can be upgraded into a super version of that class that gives them a Y ability, and the knights upgrade into paladins that can block with the Y button. Uh, we can also upgrade our equipment. We'll do that. And we'll uh, unlock the enchantress as well. So we got a lot of upgrades done there. And that's going to be about it. Um, yeah, we can't quite unlock the architect yet. That takes another 15 gold. We can't really do anything else, actually. Which is unfortunate because all this gold is going to be gone in a second. But anyway, so, uh, to explain everything we got, equip up lets us, you know, hold heavier equipment. The better the equipment is, the more weight it takes. So we can hold up to 60 weight right now, and the blacksmith provides that equipment. The Enchantress lets, our, lets us enchant our equipment with runes that give us special abilities. So let's go ahead and talk to the blacksmith. Not at length, though. And uh, he has a couple of blueprints here already, uh, but nothing that we can afford at this point, unfortunately. So we're going to leave that be for now. 
Uh, the Enchantress, similarly, is going to have a couple of runes, but uh, it's going to cost 175 for our first rune. And every rune we unlock with the Enchantress takes a little bit more money. So we've got to you know, hold off on that for a little while, but at a certain point we're going to be able to sprint uh, if we enchant our sword rune with sprint, or we'll be able to double jump if we enchant our helm with a vault rune. But we can't do any of that yet. We can't really afford anything else. So instead, we're going to come and talk to Kron here. And Kron requires us to pay him all of our gold before we can enter the castle. So, as you can see, it's not really a game where you save up to grind up for upgrades. It's more of a game about, um, like, score attacking. Like, the, the more expensive an upgrade is... The, uh, the more difficult it is to unlock, not because it takes longer, but because you have to have a better run in the castle before you can save up that much. Oh shit, <laughs> fell right onto that. I'm really used to having a double jump at this point. Um, but anyway, wow, we're getting lots of crits here. Super lucky. That knockback is very useful, of course. Destroy that guy, we got a little bit of HP. Um, but yeah, so that's what I really like about the game. It's, uh... You know, there's obviously grinding in that you play the dungeon a bunch of times, and it is obviously randomly generated. Uh, so, you you know, the castle is different every time you go in. But, um, you know, it's so much about, you know, trying to get better and better runs to get better and better stuff. Eventually, you'll be paying, like, 6,000 for a single upgrade, which uh, is a very difficult amount to get. In fact, there are floors, I can confirm, where you can clear the entire the entire castle out and not get anywhere near 6,000 gold, you know. I've had runs as poor as like 3,000 getting every single gold coin in the castle and also, um, you know, having an upgrade that, you know, increases the amount of gold I get per, by a percent. So, you know, if I if you put a few points into that, then maybe instead of getting 10 gold per coin, you get um, 13. Alright, so we got a fairy chest in here, and oh shit, oh, that's going to be really hard. I want it though. We're going to spam our spell here a little bit. Oh shit, I don't, I, I don't think I can beat this guy, but I want to try, because this guy is guarding what is called a fairy chest, and if we can get to that, oh, I might have killed him. Okay. No, I did not. Okay, that's kind of what I was expecting. Um, see what we can do here. This guy's gonna almost certainly kill me the next time he hits me, so we have to be very careful here. The fairy chest contains uh, more runes for the enchantress to use on our equipment. What do we get here? Sprint rune for our cape. Ah, that's garbage, unfortunately. Um, <clears throat> uh, not because of the equipment it goes on, but sprint rune is just not particularly useful. In my opinion, I'd much rather have like a vault rune. Vampirism runes are my favorites. They give you the uh, ability to leech life from enemies. There are also runes that allow you to fly. Alright, that was really quick. We got kind of fucked in the first room. But anyway, we got some more money. So let's look at our dudes here. Got two mages and a barbarian. The mages have knockback. And farsighted is super annoying. Ah, uh, this guy has nearsighted and... Uh, Knocked back. There are a lot more traits than the ones we've seen. We're just seeing hypergonadism a lot for some reason. We've also got a barbarian. Uh, which one of these is better? I would prefer a dagger mage, I guess. So we'll do that. And we definitely want to upgrade the mage, but I didn't quite get 325, which is pretty embarrassing. Uh, instead, let's go ahead and unlock the architect to get another tech tree going on over here. The architect is somebody who can... You know, every time you go into the castle, it resets, unless you pay the architect. If you pay the architect, then the layout of the castle stays the same, and all of the chests are still gone, but all of the, like, furniture and enemies are reset. So, if you're trying to, you know, beat the boss, then that can be useful to, uh, you know, keep the layout the same so you can rush the boss if you're having trouble with him with that. But I don't tend to lock down floors very much because, again, all of the chests are gone if you do that, and without chests, it's very difficult to get a lot of gold. Um, I'm going to pay for some magic damage up as well. I was kind of thinking that would unlock more stuff for us. Uh, we only have 75 gold left. 
We might not be able to spend that on anything. I probably should have gotten a rune with some of that money, but uh, I wasn't thinking. But this woman is obviously telling us that we did get that cape rune, but don't have enough money to activate that. Architect, I'm not really interested in your shit right now, so we're going to pay our remaining 75 coins and start another run. So this is kind of how the game goes out, uh, starts out. You get very, you know, a very shallow amount into the castle. Uh, you know, and just try to get as much money as you can so you can buy that next expensive upgrade. Like, right now I'd really like to save up, you know, I think it's 500 something so I can make a squire chest plate. That thing we got a blueprint for because that would give me a lot more armor and I would take a lot less damage from things, but that's very expensive, you know, I never got that much money last time. Oh man, I jumped right into that. Uh, oh, I forgot I was playing a mage. Let's go ahead and use some spells. Because uh, the way the way the mage works is every time you kill an enemy, you get a substantial amount of mana back. I can't actually read how much because I'm nearsighted. Uh, by the way, you can see this cool blur effect. I find the vision effects really annoying. But I also find them kind of cool from a design standpoint. Oh, shit. Oh, man, that went really poorly. Yeah, mages obviously do not start off with much health. Uh, let's go with a... We haven't seen a barbarian yet. I don't like barbarians that much, but we'll try this one out. They have a lot of health. They're tanks. Uh, we only have 60 gold. That's not going to be enough to buy anything. That was a total waste of a run but anyway let's just go ahead and move onward here that mage was a little bit of a disappointment to his family I forgot to spam my spells you really have to do that with mages because they do almost no physical damage wow we got super lucky found a bag of gold in the first room so already we're you know we have like double the uh, gold we had at the end of the last run oh shit that's really close thank god for that table we really need to unlock the vault rune. I think that's going to be my next priority so that we can double jump. That is a random teleporter. I don't know why they're there. They, they don't really have any purpose. They just make you lost. Because, uh, you know, I'm already going into random rooms. Why, why would I want to go into a different random room and, you know, potentially be across the castle? I don't know, man. Uh, these fucking picture, the picture frames are the worst. They're a lot easier when you can one-shot them. But at this point in the game, obviously, that's not something we can do. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so right now, we're just we're basically trying to find chests. If we can find a lot of chests, then uh, we can get a lot of upgrades. If we don't find a lot of chests, then uh, you know we can't. If you find the boss room, you get two chests automatically, which is really nice, uh, especially early game. So I'm kind of hoping to stumble into that. Fuck you. Uh, so that we can, you know, have a bunch of money at once. Maybe even unlock that chest plate. This guy's gonna take a lot of hits, and by a lot, I guess I mean three. Oh! That was a big mistake. Alright, that guy's gonna go down really easily. Um. Anyway, I had a train of thought early. Oh man, we found the treasure room. So that's the boss door right there. We're definitely not going to go in there because I will definitely 100% die to the boss. The boss is just way too hard to be killed at this stage of the game. Uh, so we're going to want to wait on that until much later. For right now, we just want to, you know, try to find some more chests. More runes would be great if we could find some of that. Oh shit. Got two picture frames. Oh god, they take so many hits. Oh shit. Oh, we found a carnival. That's really good, actually. Alright, so this guy is going to test our ability with axes. Oh, wait. I didn't listen to him. Oh, shit. Okay, I guess... Wow, this is weird. I thought it was all axes. I've seen this guy like five times. And every time, it was an axe challenge. Alright, so we have to hit these targets with the dagger. With the axe, it's like there's a big square of him, and you have to hit... You know, over 90 of them out of 100. So I'm really fucking up here, apparently. Ah, shit. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. I think I've already botched this. Oh, man. But luckily this doesn't, like, kill you or anything if you fuck it up. There we go. 
Man, this is really hard. Ah. Oh man, that was really bad. All right, so that's that's it for that. All right, <laughs> he's just really mad at me for doing so poorly. But uh, even so, that's a pretty big boon. We got a lot of money out of that, even if we didn't get the jackpot out of it. The axe one is way easier, and I'm way better at it, so I'm kind of sad that on camera I got the one that I didn't even know existed and had never had a chance to try before. Uh, but anyway, man, this is a tricky situation. All right, that's going to help a lot. Uh, but even so, we're going to be able to buy a lot of stuff this round, which is great. Just watch out for these big spiky things. As you might imagine, those hurt a lot. All right, fairy chest objective, defeat all enemies. We can do this shit. Oh, man, we have another super enemy in here. Oh, fuck, I thought I still had daggers. What a fool. All right, yeah, at this point, we do actually have axes. It's weird they wouldn't just give you a game based on the... Uh, the spell you're using. Alright, so we're gonna use our axes here. Kill that guy. Okay, we are totally out of axes. Oh shit. Oh, I love that man. Fuck with me, man. Oh, man. Okay. Oh shit. We can kill this guy. Not only is he gonna. or not only can we get to the fairy chest, he's also probably gonna drop a lot of shit. Oh, that was close. But again, this guy can probably one-shot me. Yeah, he might two-shot me. But regardless, he is dead. Let's go ahead and gather our reward here. What have we got? Vampire Rune Chestplate. Oh, man. You guys don't even understand how fucking amazing that is. That's going to make the game much easier from this point on. Vampire Runes, uh, every time you kill an enemy... You get 3 HP for each vampire rune you have. So, you can imagine, you know, I clear out an easy room, kill maybe 5 enemies, that's 15 extra HP. That's like a free hit of damage from an enemy that I don't have to take, or that I that I can heal back. So it, you know, extends runs by a lot. It's really good. But already this is going really well. Alright, I want to get in there to that chest. I don't want to take damage. That's the thing. That's the rub. I don't... Hmm. Oh, man. Okay. So we did take damage. We're probably going to take damage on the way back out. Oh! Nice. Alright. So we're up to 1100 gold. Really good early game run. Again, that's like a sixth of... Well, no, it's not. I was going to say my best run ever. It's a sixth of the most you ever need at one time. My best run ever was like 7500. Okay, we're going to be careful about this. Let's play it smart cheese this guy out a little bit. You know, there's a reason, I think, that most games... Uh, ooh, Night Helm, nice. Uh, that most games make it so that enemies regen health when you leave and enter the room. Uh, I think this is that reason. Uh, because otherwise it is way too easy to, uh, to cheese enemies. It's just, oh shit. I meant to go down there, but it's working out. Almost got hit by a floor trap that I wasn't even standing on there. this. I should mention, by the way, I've been too too enthralled by the gameplay to, uh, you know, do my my diligence as far as talking about the game and where you can find it and whatnot. This game is trying to get oh shit, that was really bad. Oh god, uh, this game is trying to get greenlit right now, uh, which I really want it to. Uh, I don't think they're gonna release it until it gets greenlit. So it's it's one of those situations where, you know, they need fans to get greenlit and that I feel to an extent they need uh, they need to be greenlit to get fans if they're not going to release elsewhere. I really think it would be better for them to just kind of start selling the game, but obviously it's not done yet either, nowhere near done. Um, <clears throat> but it's one of those situations where, you know, it's really important for this game to get greenlit. You're, you're going to be doing a great thing if you check out the greenlit page, which I should have linked in the description below if you want to check that out. Uh, you know, definitely go do that. Oh, man. This is a really tough room. I will die immediately if I fuck this up. I'm not sure if I can do it. Oh! Alright, tons of gold from that. 
up to 1500 which is really good and I'll, yeah that one was like a millisecond off but anyway let's go ahead and select my air here and we can check out what we can buy with all that sweet shit uh, this guy can't lock enemies back at all because of hypogonadism this guy has baldness and nearsightedness that's some poor genes and uh, this guy has no traits I think we're gonna go with uh, Lady Henrietta here another barbarian and uh, now let's go and buy the squire chest which I think is the most expensive thing I can make 350 so we'll get a chest plate then we'll enchant that chest plate with vampirism then we'll also uh, enchant our helm with vault the helm that we don't have by the way so I'm not sure if that works it does work even though we're not wearing a helmet we can still use our helmet rune uh, in that case I will not Ah, I will because it's a uh, it's a night helm so we'll make our night helm that gives us more health as well as more mana and uh, I'd also like a better sword so we'll make that for 250 and we have 145 left let's see if we can upgrade anything for 145 we can indeed um, we can get attack up for more damage so I'll do that I like uh, putting one point in everything whenever I can because it might unlock more of the tree I always forget where the tree is we definitely want to upgrade our mage next I should have that was a big mistake I should have done that this time when I had the 340 gold but let's do one more run and uh, see how successful we can be now that we have some upgrades so we'll pay 10 coins to get into the castle did a good job kind of managing that and spending as much money as possible so that's good it always sucks when you have to give up like you know 400 gold that's late game uh, but you know a lot of gold to uh, to enter the castle there we go. by the way I consider doing a let's play of this I know there's gonna be a million comments that are like let's play this game but the problem is like I this game's very easy at this point you know, it looks hard now, but, uh, and I know that Northern Lion also said that this game is very hard in his Let's Look At, but, uh, that was, no offense meant to Northern Lion, but the, the main reason he said that was because he hadn't figured out how to open chests yet, so, like, money was impossible to come by for him, because <laughs> he thought he needed keys to open them instead of just pressing up. Hey, we just found a journal entry. The king has been wounded. He has asked me his son to help save his soul. He was never. This is just like the story of uh, a guy who was here before us. I don't want to spoil too much of that. I don't know how much that's going to change in the final build, but you know, mostly I just don't feel like reading out loud to you guys. I just want to play a video game. Let's do that, shall we? Um, but as you can see, the vampirism is really going to help out. Let's go ahead and oh, made it. Shit, tons of gold in there. There we go. Just have to be patient with that room. I just I, I was looking at it the wrong way last time I was in there. Um, but anyway, yeah, I I considered doing a let's play of this game, but then I beat it in like under two hours because uh, it's actually really easy at this point, uh, which is fair because this is only like the first level is the castle, and then you're supposed to be able to get to like the forest and the uh, some kind of tower or sky thing and some other shit. I don't know, man. There there are a number. Oh shit. This is Get the fuck out of here. Oh god. Okay, we got a blueprint. It's all worth it. Knight sword, really good. Uh, it's unfortunate I just made another sword, but, you know. Okay. That was my sword, by the way. I might be trapped here. Just keep on flying into the sword. If we can kill this guy, we might be okay. I really wish I had killed the fucking bullet box. Oh my god, we killed him. Okay. Oh shit. We might even be okay after this because of my health regen. Uh, without that, we would certainly be pretty fucked at this point. You know, we might not be dead now, but we would be, you know, in, in a dire situation health-wise. But instead, uh, everything we kill gives us three more HP. So, you know, if we run into some easy rooms, we could easily regain another 50, 60 HP maybe, and. Uh, you know, keep trucking. This is not necessarily the easy room I was hoping for, but ah, it's working out alright. 
Oh, let's beat the shit out of the skeleton. Oh, fuck. Those skeletons, by the way, are like straight out of Castlevania skeletons. <laughs> they just throw bones in an arc at you. Okay. Uh, so anyway, I know there are going to be people who are like, let's play this game. I almost certainly will let's play the final version of this game when it comes out. However, uh, I don't want to let's play the demo press build right now. Because, you know, I think there's a good reason it's not out to the public yet. It's still, it's a little bit buggy. It's, uh, you know, not very, not very polished and not very long right now. It's, uh, you know, it turns into a grind very quickly. And I... I did the grind because I liked the game so much, but uh, you know it wasn't necessarily as engaging as, as this game has the potential to be if it's hard. By the way, that was an example of a bug right there. Fucking ice coming through the floor, even though it's supposed to be destroyed when it touches walls. Okay, this is gonna be uh, pretty difficult. Okay, that blade really helped me out. We're up to another good, uh, good bunch of money here, but yeah, those. That guy can like put his spell in the floor and then it goes right through the wall even though those things are supposed to be destroyed by the wall. Anyway, this is just one example of a glitch. Not that I'm complaining, the game's really fun already. Maybe one of the most fun, uh, or maybe the most fun like early alpha press builds I've ever gotten for anything. And that's saying something, I've gotten a lot of really cool ones. Knight bracers are some really good bracers for us. I think those just give us more mana though, so not necessarily my favorite. I find like max mana to not be very useful, like if you're going to be using mana you just want mana regen, because max mana doesn't really matter that much. There's not a situation where you're going to want to like spam a lot of uh, spells where having an extra like 50 mana is going to make the difference. <clears throat> max health is much better. Um, I was even talking- oh bracers, yeah, so bracers are not my favorite thing to upgrade. Um, but still, it's better equipment. Oh man. There we go. There's another chest. We're doing really well here. So as you can see, if you're good at the game, like, you can, uh, you know, not to say that I'm, like, the greatest of all time, but, you know, I've already played through the game and beaten it, so I have some acumen already stored up. It's, n it's not too difficult to save up and get all of the upgrades you want. It's not like I'm having to grind for years here, but, you know, my first time through this took me a lot longer just because, you know, I wasn't good enough to, uh, you know, get this far on, like, what, my fourth or fifth attempt. You know, it takes time learning the enemy patterns and so forth. Uh, and I like that about the game, that it's more about skill than grinding. Uh, you know, I, I like a little bit of grinding in my games, I'm not gonna lie. You know, it's a guilty pleasure of mine to just, you know, slowly work up and get new abilities and items and upgrades. But I don't like, you know, kill the same monster 50 times in a row, even though it's really easy. Because this, this game challenges you every time to get a little bit better. It's a really good combination of the two. And the roguelike elements are fantastic. You know, having to start from scratch every time, go into the castle, and just hope that you you know you get a good loadout, you do well, and uh, manage to get a lot of gold. So that you can buy that next, you know, super expensive upgrade that you want. And later on, you know, pretty quickly we start seeing like 2,000 coin upgrades that took me forever to save up for. When I first saw 2,000 coins, I was like, shit, man, that's going to take me like, you know, a year of playing this game to get. And then, you know, I got it like... 15 runs later, but, you know, it's it's exciting, you know, it's it's fun to, to be pushed to do better at the game, to get better stats and items and so forth. That's a permanent manage dam- <laughs> manage dam- I don't know what I was going to say, manage dam- dagic? I don't know, that's a per permanent magic damage upgrade for us. Uh, man, we're getting close to actually clearing out this floor, which is surprising. Go ahead and check what's going on up here. Pretty soon we should find the uh, the end room, like the boss room, if I'm not mistaken. Oh shit! Bad. <laughs> trap myself in a the corner there. Oh, trap myself in another one. There we go. Having those guys dead is gonna help this, or uh, you know, help me out a lot. the skeleton really quick so he can't shoot me in the back and then I'll deal with the fire mage. Fire mage is super annoying early game when you can't fly or double jump or anything. By the way I can double jump! Totally forgot about that. 
I don't know if I've been doing it, like how long I've not been doing it, but uh, super useful. Alright, cool. Here's the boss room, so we'll get another shit ton of gold for that. We're getting pretty low on health, I regret to say, but you know, we might be able to, to pull this out, you know, get, get some more money before we before we fall. I think there's a chest in this room. There is indeed, you can see on the map. In the top right corner there's a chest. And we should be able to get to it, I think. As long as nothing terrible happens here. And uh, again, vampirism really pulling through here, getting more and more health. Later on, there's a character I really like called a Lich, where every time you uh, you, you you start off with super low health and mana, you start off with like 40 health, 40 mana. Uh, but every time you kill an enemy, you get plus 10 to your health permanently, uh, and and you get that health as well. So you get plus 10 health and plus 10 like max health. It's really good. Uh, so I'll regularly end up with like 400, 500 health at the end of a, a Lich run. <clears throat> Which is pretty awesome because then I can just go and tank the boss. That was the first time I ever beat the boss was with a, a Lich. Alright, we're almost done with this floor. Uh, that's really surprising to me. I did not expect to get that far. We gotta get through this bullshit though. <laughs> I think this is probably gonna kill me. I'm not sure if I should try this or the boss. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Oh man, this is a uh, this is a boss. Okay. I want to get my sword on him, but I'm scared. I definitely don't want to get hit by those because they'll like fucking kill me. Okay, that's exact. Oh man, I was gonna say that's exactly what I wanted. Did not want him to do it again right in a row though, because I wanted to get my sword on him. Anyway, there was very little chance of me killing that guy. He's super tough. Ah, uh, that's like a mini boss. And most of the mini bosses are very hard. One of the mini bosses is actually way harder than the final boss, in my opinion. Anyway, we got a paladin, a barbarian, and a paladin. Uh, I'm probably not going to actually do another run on camera, but what I will do is kind of spend my money. We can look at a little bit more of the progression. Oh, man. Yeah, I really wanted to show off an archmage. Archmage is really good because you can cycle through spells. And I find, like, once I unlock the archmage, suddenly the game was super easy for me because you can use whatever spell you want and there's this one spell called flame wall that's super overpowered and uh, with all the the mana regen that mages get you can just use it all the time you just spam it and it makes the game incredibly easy so if you get lucky with a good archmage roll you just go uh, we'll also unlock a miner miners uh, are like they they get 50% extra gold like instead of 10 coins they get 15 coins from a from a single gold coin and you know the same for bags of gold and diamonds and so forth uh, but they're super weak so they're at, they're not actually very good at this point in the game but late game that's like that's how you get the the really high amounts like my uh, 7500 gold was with a uh, spelunker which is an upgraded miner and we will un up uh, upgrade the miner Oh, here's one of the super expensive ones. Oh man, we can get it? That's insane. This took me so long my first time through. Gold gain up gives you 10% more gold. So every time we pick up a gold coin, now we get uh, 11 instead of 10. Doesn't sound like much, but that's the difference between like a 1,000 gold run and an 1,100 gold run. It's a really big difference. And uh, as you upgrade that, you can get all the way up to 50% extra gold, which means that with a Spelunker, you get double gold from uh, you know the base but anyway I'm gonna stop rambling here and stop like nerding out about this game and just say go to the kicks or uh, not the Kickstarter they aren't kickstarting this go to the green light page and uh, upvote it because this is a really 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 good game if you like Isaac if you like you know games like FTL Super House of Dead Ninjas etc etc if you like roguelikes you are going to really 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 like uh, Rogue Legacy. This game is absurdly addictive. It's such a good blend of like the roguelike, you know, permadeath, you know, just get as far as you can in a random world, and like a, I, I don't want to call it grindy, but the, you know, the, 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 like getting the stuff to make yourself more powerful and like growing your character and getting better and better. It's, it's so good. It's so addictive. It's so much fun. It's something that you can easily lose hours into. I spent four hours playing this game today uh, and just didn't want to put it down. It's so much fun. I'm probably going to like flesh out this new save 
after I stop this video because it's that much fun. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are going to support Rogue Legacy by giving your, your votes on Greenlight. It's free, it's easy. If you have a Steam account, all you have to do is go, go click on my link, click on the thumbs up. And uh, if enough of you guys do that, then this is going to come to Steam, you know, in however many mon months it takes to complete it. I don't know if they have an estimate for that. But uh, I really want that to happen because then I will do a Let's Play on it. I I very rarely will, like, promise a Let's Play on a game. But if this game comes out on Steam, I promise I will Let's Play it. It is so much fun. It's great. Anyway, see you guys next time.